What's going on internet, IG here again today, and as you can see, we finally found ourselves a home. Uh, now for those of you who aren't aware, um, I started out a couple months ago with a Switching 2 series. Obviously I liked the idea of going a bit deeper with an operating system instead of just uh, kind of having a look at the default install, I wanted to be able to look at how it was used and how it would function as my daily driver. So I did sw switch out uh, the Ubuntu 14.04 install that I had uh, obviously installed on this laptop for quite some time and uh, in favour of OpenSUSE 13.1. Obviously this was pretty much on the eve of OpenSUSE 13.2's release and uh, so obviously when that came out I was uh, tempted to upgrade but instead I decided to check out the more recently released Linux Mint 17.1. Uh, obviously a little bit of distro hopping ensued when I came across some issues um, and obviously you've been, uh, if you've been watching the switching to Linux Mint 17.1 series then you'll know how that ultimately concluded. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say here is that I found myself back on KDE on a Debian based distribution uh, known as Neptune. Uh, now Neptune OS 4.2 I believe uh, is, the, is the exact numbers of what I'm running. Um, which is of course uh, a Debian release based on, uh, it is based on Wheezy, um, which of course is the more stable version, at least at the core of the system, but KDE is up to date through their own custom repositories. Um, what I really like here is the stability, the speed of this distribution is off the charts, it's ridiculously quick. I thought Linux Mint was quick, uh, turns out KDE can be even quicker. And to be honest, I really love the look and feel of this distribution and I've added a few, um, I've added a bit of customization myself in terms of kind of how the desktop looks. I'm making use of the lovely uh, Nitrix or Nitrix um, icon set that they designed there for KDE. So it looks very nice, obviously the elementary window borders, kind of the highlighted blue panels. Um, I'm very happy with the way this desktop looks and uh, I am continually surprised with just how quick this distribution is. Uh, again, I've got the keyboard launcher there doing most of the work for me. Um, so there's really, not much to, there's really not much to complain about here at all. Um, I guess at the end of the day, when it comes to using a, a distribution as your sort of your, I guess your primary, uh, your primary everyday driver, you want it to be quick, you want it to get out the way, and uh, that's, that's exactly what this distribution does. And uh, also, I haven't had any issues in terms of stability or uh, any app crashes or anything like that, which has also been really refreshing, uh, especially coming from a distribution that uh, had a few bugs with it uh, in the form of Linux Mint 17.1. The other little tweaks that I really like about this distribution now that I've actually been using it for quite some time and I've been sort of producing all of my last couple of videos with it um, was also just the, the, the ease of which um, KDE's customization was around. Basically, um, usually when you add a KDE panel you either get a choice to add a default KDE panel or you can get a choice to add an empty panel. If I, if I have a look in the add panel section you can see we've got default panel, default panel Neptune, de empty panel, GNOME 2 panel, grouping panel, KDE 3 panel, Mac style panel, Unity panel and Uncool 7 panel. Basically these are all pre-customized panels that you can just add into KDE or swap them out if you don't like what you see uh, by default with the panel up the top here. So obviously as you can see I've opted for the uh, I've opted for the global menu up here in the top panel just because that's what I was used to with Unity and uh, I don't know it just seems to make sense for my brain. Um, but I guess at the end of the day it's all about using what works best for you. And so for the moment this is the distribution that is getting the work done. Um, and, I, and I'm assuming it's probably going to stay that way for a little while uh, as I'm pretty happy to settle down here in Debian land uh, as opposed to jumping around. I know there were lots of remarks there to jump over and try uh, a Manjaro based distribution, Manjaro etc. Um, but at the end of the day um, I just needed something that was going to be uh, working that I was relatively familiar with um, but it was going to give me the stability that I was looking for. Um, it, is, it, is, uh, it is still staying up to date in terms of patches and bug fixes that Debian put through for their packages but really it doesn't compromise stability at all and that's really what I'm chasing here. Um, obviously it is nice to have an up-to-date KDE desktop in, in, in the form of KDE 4.14 I believe we're on um, but at the same time uh, I'm not really lacking any of the features that 
uh, that I would gain by uh, running a more up-to-date distribution. Having said all that, there are definitely some good KDE distributions out there that are based on Manjaro. Um, as you can see, obviously Manjaro themselves have their own KDE spin and the, the development that I've seen gone into the Manjaro uh, distribution has been very, very impressive. And one of these days I will kind of seriously check it out and, uh, and give it a good old run for its money. Uh, because obviously this would kind of be up there for one of the distributions of the year in terms of uh, if there was an award for like the newcomer to the Linux world. Obviously it's not a newcomer, but it's really come into its own uh, in the last 12 months. So congratulations obviously to the Manharo team. And uh, while this video doesn't seem to have much of a topic, uh, I just thought I'd just update you guys about how everything was going. And uh, we're going to try and get into some hardware reviews because I've got a new router, I've got a new phone, I've got a new uh, device, uh, laptop, uh, tablet hybrid sort of thing, all of which I do want to make videos of. Obviously, being the Christmas season, uh, there is plenty of stuff to do in real life as well. So I guess I can leave you all looking forward uh, to those hardware reviews in the new year. Uh, but in the meantime, I wish you all a very happy holidays uh, and hope you all stay safe and have a fantastic Christmas New Year period. So thank you all for watching and subscribing and I'm pretty sure we're really close to 200 videos now on this channel. So while I'm just kind of pottering about here not really doing much, I would talk to you in person face to face but I haven't really figured out a way, uh, somewhere to put my camera yet in, uh, in my new house. So we'll kind of see how all that works out in the new year. But in the meantime, Neptune OS is my uh, daily driver and will be for the next period of time. And uh, yeah, it's working out splendidly. So thank you all for watching. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, then definitely check out my channel. Uh, and obviously if you're here, you probably know all about it already. Um, but yeah, definitely subscribe if you like what you see here and you can follow me on Twitter. And I also am on Google Plus and Facebook, just not as much. Well, that'll be all from me. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you all in the new year. Have a great one.